My house hasn't burned down yet. Good morning, dudes and dudettes. Today, I have a little bit of a contracting job to do. As you may can tell by the wind and the pool in front of me, this is not my house. However, I am doing something here today that might be a little bit interesting. So, my neighbor has been running this crap off of an extension cord with a spliced-in plug. Uh, or a switch, rather. Not a good idea. So today, I'm going to put in a real plug. This is just my tools. I'm going to put in a real plug, a uh, 4x4 post. I'm going to bury a line. I'm going to put a waterproof switch out here. And then, and then I'm going to run an actual conduit and line all into a breaker inside in the garage. Let me go show you real quick. Right around here, there's my 4x4 post. And there's all of the loveliness that I need to work with today. Waterproof boxes, electrical wire, conduit, and breaker boxes. On our way, it even has a fancy pole. So I put it about two feet in the ground, two and a half feet in the ground, something like that. Uh, thank God I have an auger. That thing's insanely useful. Now I need to hand spade out about a foot and a half deep trench all the way to it so I can put an electric box on the wall, run some conduit to where that goes through the wall, and everything else. Whew! What a way to start the morning. Well, I got most of the hard work done. And it's already four times deeper than his cable line, so I think this will be good. Time to start wire pulling and doing that stuff. Ta -da. It's been a little bit of time. They had family out here and it'd be awkward to record. So I'm halfway done, buried the line, got concrete run through, or concrete holders holding that in in a second after I put up the switch. Just about to cut conduit and get all this buttoned up before moving inside and doing the breaker. Ta da! No longer is this thing running off an extension cord. It is running off that plug. I apologize for the wind. It is just now picking up. So I got obviously the ground all covered up. Then I got my little junction box here. It goes through the wall, down and up. Up is my switch, which I need to get a plate for, but it does work. And inside I got my breaker. Huh. All right, three o'clock, time for lunch. The majestic tortoise in his natural environment. I should say in her natural environment, because I'm pretty sure this one is a she. <laughs> but uh, it has been a couple of days, as you may or may not be able to tell by the... Well, I mean, you'd have to be clever as fuck. But the direction of the sun is definitely different, and the lighting's definitely different. Uh, it's also a whole lot less windy. So, I finished my neighbor's underground wire a couple of days ago and I really didn't sorry for the wind I'm walking uh, I don't have a wind microphone one of those little fluffy thingies all right so going over to the side of my house the reason I haven't recorded in a couple days I finished my neighbor's underground line by the way uh, this stuff the stuff that I'm hopefully going to be upgrading well, I got a quote from CoServe. In order to upgrade this, I'm gonna need to upgrade that. And by upgrading that, it's gonna cost me about $6,000. Three to $6,000, give or take. They are gonna reimburse me for the cost of that transformer, but oh well. Uh, I then have to upgrade this and all of this. I got another quote from an electrician because I can do little stuff I don't do this stuff. Uh, I got a quote from an electrician, $3,800 to bring my house up to code because this is 1960s code and he won't touch it. So there's another $3,800. Needless to say, if it's going to cost me $10,000, it's going to take me a few days to weasel this one out. So yeah, I appreciate everyone watching these vlogs, but I think I'm going to have to call it quits for a few days because I'm not going to have much to do except for take care of these little guys.
So with that, I think I'm going to call it quits. Thank you all for watching this, and thank you for all the comments that keep saying these are so cool. I don't get why you like them, but it's awesome. <laughs> uh, with that, I guess I'll get back to you when I actually have some progress to be made.